Yo, what's going on, Planet S1 family? It's your main man, JD. Thank you for tuning in. This is Drinks with JD. Miriam, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you uh, for coming over and sitting down with me on Drinks with JD. Thank yeah. I appreciate it. Um, well, since it's our first time sitting down together, uh, can you please introduce yourself to the Planet SON audience? Can you please let them know who you are, where you're from, and what you do? Okay. Hi, um, I'm Miriam Hernandez. I'm from San Diego, California, and I am the creator and owner of LabX. No doubt, no doubt. So um, right now you just mentioned how you're from San Diego, right? Mm -hmm. Now, were you born and raised here in San Diego? Um, I was born um, in San Diego, but I'm from National City originally. Okay. okay. So I've lived most of my life in National City, and then right now I currently live in um, Logan. Oh, okay. That's mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, when in National City, what schools did you go to? Um, I went to Las Palmas Elementary, mm -hmm. and then I went to National City Middle, and I went to Sweetwater High School. You were Red Devil. Yes. All right, no doubt. <laughs> now, uh, as a kid, um, were you an artist? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I think I was. I mean, there was like, um, my mom was always making stuff, so it kind of always made me want to make stuff. Yeah. So I would like cut up jeans and turn them into bags. Okay, okay. Or I would make, um, I would always buy beads. I just mm. have a ton of beads and just make bracelets and rings. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Did, did, uh, did you also do it in school? Like when you were with the Red Devils, did you like try to take an art class or anything like that? Um, no, 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 no art classes. <laughs> Nothing like no, that. No, I didn't do it until um, what was it? Um, so I was in college. Okay, actually, okay. I went to college a couple of times. Yeah. But every time I went, I went for something my mom wanted me to do. Okay. And then finally, like, yeah, what? What did she want you to do? She wanted me to be a nurse. Okay, she wanted okay. me to be a dentist. She wanted me to be a doctor. But that's awesome, though. That's a good career. It's good careers, but yeah. it's not something I wanted to do. That's right. You know, so it's not something that I wanted to pursue. Yeah. And then I finally was like, I'm going to do whatever I want. Yeah. And um, I started going to um, Mesa Community College. Mm -hmm. And then my counselor put me in, like, um, what is it called? Like to make clothes yeah. instead of like to buy clothes wholesale and then resell. Wow. Um, so I learned how to sew. Wow. I learned how to draw. Yeah. Um, and I learned how to make patterns, which is cool, but it's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. And then after that, I went into fashion merchandising. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's cool how you just transitioned. I mean, how you just mentioned how even in high school, you weren't into art or no, fashion yeah. or anything like that, but yet you learned it in college yeah i mean i really wasn't like my mom loved clothes and yeah. i hated going to the stores like yeah. i would cry because i didn't want to be there i was like oh my yeah. god i'm out again and that lady could shop yeah. all day like yeah. to this day we could spend like eight hours like that mall. was her thing yeah yeah. yeah 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 how does she feel now that you're into fashion um she likes it but she wishes it was a little bit more girly okay okay porque, porque no te arreglas. Yeah. and i'm like estoy arreglada yeah. like what, what do you mean yeah, like, you want i curl my yeah. hair like she is that enough drip, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tengo una falda puesta. ¿Qué más quieres? Exactly, but exactly. it's never enough for her no doubt, yeah. no doubt. <laughs> and what does your dad say about um your entrepreneurship oh he's so nice he's like the best he's the one that actually bought me um my cricket to be able to like make my stencils to screen print my shirts wait, wait, wait. talk about the cricket what is a cricket oh so a cricket um everybody started getting i think like during covid because it it's fun because it lets you do lets you just make things and be creative okay. you know um i it so the machine is like it prints out vinyl uh -huh. and then you can heat press it onto like t-shirts or onto a bag wow and then the other type of vinyl you can make cups yeah um, what? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Or like signs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then I like it now because I use it for screen. Like I'll make, um, I'll print out the vinyl yeah. and I'll screen print. That's what I'm talking so about. So I'll use the paint wow. and stuff, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. But you could do it, it's like, it's all original designs. I mean, you can buy stuff that people already have made. Okay. And then just remake it. Okay, okay. Or you could do your original stuff. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So... Let's talk about Labex, yes. right? Your company. Uh -huh. um, what made you want to start Labex? Um, well, I always wanted to have um, a boutique. Okay. I always thought I would have like a plus size boutique okay. when it would be closed. Yeah. I never thought it would be like something Latinx expired, yeah. inspired, like ever. I was like, oh my gosh, like I, it never crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. And um, in 2019, I got laid off 
um, from my job and I, you know, it brought me down really hard and I felt horrible because I'd been there for so many years. Yeah. And, you know, when you want to start a business, you always make excuses. Like, you don't have time, you don't have money, like, so finally... Um, there's always something. There's always something, yeah. but as much as it sucks to hear it in the moment, things do happen for a reason. Of course. You know, and I, I really believe it now after this happened. Yeah. Because had I not lost my job, I would have never, probably never started my business. Wow. You know, um, so I, like, went through a little bit of a depression phase for yeah, a couple yeah, of yeah. months. And then I told Felipe, I was like, you know, I could probably like, I should do something. I've always been creative. I should make something. Exactly, exactly. And so my cousin, actually, I was just going to ask her if she could just um, make the bags for me. Mm -hmm. But she was like, why don't you come up to LA? I'll show you how to make them yeah. and I'll show you how to use the machine. Okay, then, so you started off with bags first. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I only did tote bags. That's okay, all okay. I did. Totes and cups. Okay. I used to make cups too. And... Um, I went up there and I didn't expect her to be like, I have like another machine so you can borrow this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. which by the way, I'm sorry, little, yeah, yeah. I'll take it back to you soon, I promise. <laughs> it's been like two years, but I promise you I'll take it back. You the machine? Oh, that's messed I'm up, I'm Mexican, man. that is life, <laughs> that is life. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, um, so she lent it to me and I like learned how to use it. I mean, it was a struggle because, you know, it's like learning how to do anything yeah. the first time. You're going to get upset because yeah. things are going to come out wrong, but you learn from your mistakes. So after a while, like I kind of got the hang of it and mm -hmm. I was making the tote bags and I, the first thing I did was an amate pendeja tote. Okay, okay. Which know? is Which what is, you're wearing right yes. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. So and that was your first slogan? That was my first slogan. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So that was on the tote bag first? That's on tote bag. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So please continue with that tote, with the tote first. Um, yeah, so it was a tote. Like I would yeah. go out to Logan because they had um, La Vuelta on Wednesdays. Okay, okay. And then um, they would have an art crawl on Saturdays. Okay. Can, so, you talk, can you talk a little bit about that? About like overall La Vuelta and then how it also benefits you? Yeah, so... Um, well, when I started, La Vuelta was like the biggest thing that was going on. Okay. So I would go out every Wednesday. And that's in Logan. It's in Logan. And what street, what street is that? It's right next to Chicano Park, right? Uh, yeah, it's right on Logan Avenue, actually. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it, like, I did it for a little bit, but then I realized, like, that's kind of like, it's hard to sell during that time. Mm. Um, it's busy why? and it's great. Why, you, why do you think it's hard to sell? Um, I don't know. Like, people are there for the cars. Okay. You know? And yeah. I might still... Because be... it's, it's an atmosphere, right? It's, it's definitely... It's... Yeah. It's a vibe. Yeah. yeah it's there such you go. a vibe. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. And I, it's okay. I'm okay with it not yeah. being my vibe. That's yeah. fine. You know? Because I still like it. Of course. Um, yeah. And then... Um, but they did have the art crawl. Okay. Which was... I think it was like every... The second Saturday of every month. So, what's the art crawl? So, we used to have a, a big gallery. Okay. Um, in Olega. And that was like the reason everybody would come by and wow. then we had a couple of little art galleries yes yes um yes. so people would come by and check out all the art that we had in logan wow and we would come out and you know just sell our stuff and yeah. that was like a good day to do it that's what i'm talking um, about um but now we have um walk the block okay yeah so okay. during the pandemic and that's a different event that's a overall. completely different yeah okay, it's okay, completely okay. different um, so during the pandemic, um, a lot of the businesses were suffering mm -hmm. and one of the businesses closed. Okay. And so, um, we were trying to figure out what we could do to help the community and the businesses. Yes, yes, yes. And so, um, Claudia from Soloca, her husband, Manny, and, um, Alejandra from Shop Simon Limon. Okay. Um, created Walk the Block. Oh, wow. You know, so now it's every Saturday. Yeah. And every Sunday. Wow. Yeah. Oh, from, wow. Just every Saturday, every, every week. Every Saturday, wow. every Sunday. Okay, yeah. Okay, from okay. like 12, 12 to 4, 12 to 5. Yes. And it's an outdoor event. You know, we have food vendors, mm. um, clothing vendors. All the shops are open. Wow. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty cool. And then you can cool. get some tacos at Salud, And you can get tacos right? at yeah. Salud. You can and get they got border, eggs. border yeah, eggs. That's yes. awesome. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. And then you can go to Barrio Dog or you can go to Chichia. So there's like, you can do anything. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. So uh, overall, it just benefited you and how uh, it pushed you to continue um, your clothing, yeah. right? Forgive me. I want to ask you. I want to ask you to. Uh, I guess let's go back to when your totes. I know we so, veered off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so let, let's let's go back to your yeah, totes yeah. and how like you just started. Okay, so I yeah, I started with the totes. 
at La Vuelta yeah, yeah. and it, I would bring down like some of my used clothes yeah. and then try to sell that but then put because I was it was scary you know of putting your things out there mm -hmm. and I'm like well what if nobody buys it what if nobody likes it exactly. so I, I just, think that's what that's what pushes people away yeah right the criticism yeah because like, it sucks it yeah. sucks and it's scary and yeah. I'm just like I'm already like so sensitive to yeah, everything no, for sure um, but, I mean that's that's even for me like let's say this whole drinks of JD thing and just all my videos <laughs> like I'm, I'm there with you, you know, yeah, so, but, yeah. but no matter what, just keep doing it, this, right? But this keep is, like, it. even more crazy, because I'm, like, you talk to, like, a lot of people no, every no. day. <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm already dying with yeah. just today. Well, I guess you could say this is my product, you know what I'm saying? It so is. It's like, it's, so it's, like, I'm pushing it. Yeah. And, and at the same time, some people don't want to do videos because they're scared of criticism. Yeah. Well, overall, like, let's say, I mean, for our product yeah you know so just yeah. keep doing it i mean if people don't like it it's okay thank you but we're just, we're just doing it for the people who do like yeah. it right? yeah yeah i like that uh, and for us yes. yeah <laughs> it makes me happy it makes you happy yeah. we're good <laughs> so please tell me about how so you were at oh yeah so we i made the totes and then i would put them at the end of the bar okay and kind of hide them like oh, yeah, well because i'm yeah. telling you i was really afraid that people wouldn't like them yeah and then i also made little like bags that said for the hoops okay um, Opalos hoops, and so you could put your little hoops in there, okay. and then those did really well, and the the bags did really well, and then I was like, well, what if I make cups? Yeah, and so I started making cups, que decían like pinchy Monday, wow. or like um, pala cruda, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, coffee yeah. cups, and they did pretty good, yeah. you know. And then little by little, like more people started asking me for a t-shirt. Like, mm -hmm. when are you going to come out with the t-shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I didn't never even thought of that as a possibility, yeah. you know? And I was like, whoa, I mean, soon, I guess. So let's say, let's say with, with your slogans at first, right? Like, I'm a tip in the mm -hmm. and uh, you said, you said the Monday one? Al pinche Monday. Okay, and then the cruda one, right? Sí, la cruda. So um, how did you come up with that? And like... like, how did you overall, like, did you have a team or anybody telling you no. like, yo, this is what's gonna hit. This is what no, okay, okay, okay. it was like I would ask Felipe what yeah. he thought, and um, it was just it, what is it? Trial and error. Okay, that's it. Trial and error. Like okay. I would just. I mean, to me, I think Pala Cruz is funny because you know, like yeah. it's just funny. And you said you had that on a on a mug. <laughs> on a mug. Okay, on okay. a yeah, it was like an iced coffee cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. And then um, Amate Pendeja was just like you know, it's like a little Latin tough love. Yeah, yeah. Because no, no, it's no, no, like no. sometimes you just need that little slap to exactly, like exactly. like despiertate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. But yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, did you ever picture yourself as an entrepreneur? Never. Okay. Didn't never never thought about it. Wow. Uh uh. Like I mean, I guess dreamt of it, but yeah. I never thought it was possible. Yeah. So like for me to just be here and be doing this, it's just like oh damn. And I sometimes I don't even like, I don't really call myself a business owner, mm -hmm. or I'm afraid to say that because I'm like, well, what is a business owner? Exactly. You know, like am I really a business owner? I don't know. No, you're right. You're yeah. Right. But are you proud of yourself? I mean, for chasing this goal and. I mean, you, you even said how you were depressed at one point. Yeah. Right? And yeah. you weren't even sure what you wanted to do. I am going to be totally honest. Yeah. Um, I start things and I never finish them. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> you know, I do it all the time. I'll yeah. start something and it'll be like, this is going to be cool. It's going to be great. And I never finish it. Yes. This is the first thing that I've stuck to. Wow. And um, my dad, when he bought me the machine, was like, is this something you really want to do? Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, dad, you know, like I, yeah. I like it and I think I can be good at it. And yeah. he's like, well, if you think you, you're going to stick to it, I'll buy you the machine. Wow. And I was That's like, so yeah, I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. He's like, just let me know how much it is. And I was like, oh. wow. <laughs> <laughs> even recently, Felipe was like, yeah. you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to be mean, babe, but like, this is like the, one of the first things you've ever really stuck to. Wow, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it, it hurt a little, but yeah. he's not wrong. No, no, no. Because no. I, I always start things and I never finish. I mean, so overall, I mean, you should, you, you probably do feel proud of yourself, right? I feel right? super overall, proud. I'm just like, yeah, I'll snap. But yeah. yeah, it's been like two and a half years and I'm still doing it. I'm yeah. still trying to think of new things to come up with, which is crazy because I'm just like, 
sometimes like I'll see people that saw me when I had, and it's so nice. Yeah. It makes me feel so happy and good to hear people be like, oh, I bought something from you. Like when you barely started, I bought a wow. cup. And I'm like, dang, that's a yeah. long time ago. And then they'll see like how much more I've grown. And they're like, wow, you've mm. really grown. That's and I'm like, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. For real. I'm just like, damn, girl, you did it. That's that's yeah. Time. Now, do your family members support you? Like, do they tell you to keep going and yeah um, continue the process yeah um my sister actually comes over when i ask her to and comes over and helps me like with the vinyl because sometimes it, it's like it's too much it's too much work yeah and then my brother was with me yes on saturday yeah um and he was helping me sell and it's just funny because i don't know why i feel like he brings good luck because yeah, every yeah. time he comes <laughs> siempre trae cola and yeah. i'm just like dang junior um that's what i'm talking about yeah and my mom's been out there with me too to support me and you know ven with me and my dad like went the first time but he bought me the machine so he's forgiven yeah, okay fair <laughs> enough fair enough so he's, he's all, it's all good yeah, right? it's good. all good <laughs> fair enough fair enough okay so let's highlight your items yeah all right um what well, can you just talk about your items? <laughs> <laughs> um so we have little doggy bandanas there you go yes they a puppy chulo um, we have different ones in different sizes, and we actually just started making like super extra small ones for cats. Oh, wow. Y en vez de papi chulo, dice gatito chulo. Oh, that sounds good. I know, it's cute. And people with cats really like them, so. Yeah. How, <laughs> how big do you offer them? Like Great Danes? Or, or like... I don't know. I, like, if there's a little large, no, probably not a Great Dane, because it okay, would be like okay. an extra large. We go up to a large. Okay, um, But the, the collar goes through the slits, mm -hmm. and then it comes out this way. That's what I'm so it doesn't about. tie, because. I have a dog and his name's Toby yeah. and he hates anything on his neck. Yeah. <laughs> but then this way he's forced to wear it and not take it off. Because no, no. uh -huh. it goes straight to the collar. Yeah. That's so I'm just like, sorry about it, guy. Messy? Yeah. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. And we have like girl ones and boy ones and like the oh, girl you, ones. Oh, different colors? Yeah, different oh, okay. colors. Okay, like different what, stuff. what kind of colors? Um, like for the girl ones, we have one with little, um, it's Rosita, with uh -huh. little limones. Okay. And it says que perra somos. Wow. Yeah. And then I'm excited because we so have, cool. yeah, we yeah. have Halloween ones. Because okay. we do, like, I love doing seasonal ones. Yeah. And for the Halloween ones, we got like a lot of glow in the dark fabric. Uh -huh. And then one of my favorites is uno que dice el cucuy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. For the yeah. dogs. For the dogs and the cats, yeah. That's so cool. That's what <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about. And then um, we have beer koozies. I mean, okay. I didn't realize it but i was looking for beer koozies one time and uh -huh. then i was like there's none in spanish okay and that i was sense. like huh, that makes sense. <laughs> huh. yeah you so, saw a need in the, in yeah, the market and, and boom. i was like i yeah. got you That's what um about. so we have this one that says borracha pero buena muchacha there you go yeah and then we have one that says comadre crew Otro para la cruda. Yeah. Y luego cervezas before tristezas. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking yeah. about. And do you have a, do you have them in a, certain colors? Yeah, they come in different colors. Okay. Um, it's like blue, orange, and like a green. And then um, for guys, we have el jefe. Uh -huh. Sigo siendo el rey. Wow. Yeah. And I can't remember the other ones, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. What about these? And then this one um, is for the girls because yeah. it, this is not to offend anybody yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean i'm pretty proud of this myself yeah. because somos peleoneras no, 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 so no. it's a peleonera tea um this one i'm very proud of because i screen printed this that's dope yeah so i don't use the vinyl like i use the vinyl to screen print it yeah. but then that's it so i completely make the shirt which makes me really happy that's what i'm talking about yeah so it's really cool do you offer them in different colors as well um not this one okay sorry yeah. sorry <laughs> sorry guys Wait, can you can you talk about the the writing on it like the spelling oh yeah, yeah. okay so pelionera is actually spelled with an e not an i um but i spell it with an i because yeah. i was born here okay and i did go to like i took spanish when i started school yeah up until like second or third grade and then my mom moved me to completely english classes okay, okay, okay. so I, I mean i only remember what i remember and Pelionera sounds the way I spell yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Now, do you think it's like more of a Spanglish thing? Maybe. You know, yeah. how like Mexican-Americans, we could like, we just like make stuff up. <laughs> like we could make words up like, uh, you know, like parquear. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just be making up stuff. You know we what I'm do. Yeah. That's not even a real word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And I was just thinking, because um, my cousin used to do this thing in high school when she, because she didn't know, um, she didn't know English. She wouldn't, yeah. she wouldn't even try. Yeah. Right. So she'd be like, "Por favor, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Un este, una yeah, yeah, And I'm exactly, just like, exactly. "What? Is, exactly. What is that?" 
So yeah, so it is kind of like making up our own language. Okay, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. And, that, and that's fair because, I mean, Mexican-Americans, we know that we yeah. do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I mean, like, I'm sorry, but no sé de acentos tampoco. Yeah. Like, somebody said, Dama, te needs an accent. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. Eso sorry. It's yeah. fair, it's fair. Game. Yeah. And then, so um, tote. It's a tote. And then, um, it says, pelonera. And I kind of try to make it like a thank you bag because you know how the thank you bags, yes. they, think you, they thank you with the rose. Yeah. So that's, that's that one. That's what I'm talking about. And then, um, or amate pendeja ti, which there is like, go. there you go. That's the popular one. I, I want to show this one out. Like, oh no, I ruined it. There you go. Yeah. This that's is our cool. number and one has, seller. And it has the Lebex. And it has Lebex yeah. in the back. TM, by the way. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So it's your number one. That's my number one. That's yeah. that's my baby. That's where everything came from. Do you offer it in different colors? Yeah. So it comes in um, black as well. And okay. then we have a couple of tie-dye ones. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Which is more popular? Um, The black one. Yeah. I fought that. I did yeah. not <laughs> want to do it in black. Because I like color. And I yeah. know. I know. I know we all get dirty. Yes. <laughs> and food just falls everywhere and your coffee spills if you put a little bit of dawn it'll take it away <laughs> but you know if people were asking for the black for one the and black. the black one sells really well so i can't i'm not gonna lie i prefer black as well yeah, yeah. so i was like all right you guys win and that's i did cool, the black one cool. yeah so what about this oh that's our capello tote and that one i screen print as well that's what I'm which makes me very happy you want to show it off yeah so it's our capello tote Capel, capel, capel. Yeah, and this one was actually featured on BuzzFeed. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even know. Yeah. I woke up one day and I was checking my Etsy shop and yeah. it just like, I kept getting like likes and hits yeah, and yeah. orders and I'm like, <laughs> what is this? Yeah. And I was like, why am I so popular today? Like that's never happened before. And I couldn't figure it out. And all day I thought about it. I'm like, pues que chingado hice, yeah, like, yeah. que pasó? And, um... I went to my friends and I was talking to them and I told them and I was looking at the insights and it said BuzzFeed and I'm yeah. like, pues que, like, yo no sale en el BuzzFeed. Yeah, yeah. So then like at the end of the day, I was like, you know what, let me check Buzz, BuzzFeed's website, yeah. you know, or their Instagram. So I checked their Instagram, I checked their, their regular Instagram, I checked their Latin Instagram yeah. and then I like hashtag BuzzFeed to see if anything happened and finally I went on the website and then um, I was going through the whole thing and I was like, no encuentro nada, like yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on? And so finally, I went on to gifts, and it said um, 28 gifts for if you were born Mexican wow. or raised Mexican. That's and awesome. I was, yeah, I was like number six and you were or featured something. On it. Yes. Wow, that's so cool. I know. I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, I can't believe this. And I went like crazy. Yeah. I told Felipe, I was like, babe, we're on Buzzfeed. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what else? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, because it was so cool. I didn't know, so it was yeah. really fun. Yeah. What's your friends say? What What's your family say? Um, like, were they proud of you? I, that's, that's pretty cool. That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I was. They were like, oh, no, pues, wow. And yeah, I was yeah. like, thank you, thank you. Yeah. They're like, yeah, oh, look at movie star. And I'm like, no, no, tampoco, tampoco. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, where else have you been featured on? Um, SD Voyager. Okay. So we, I got really lucky. I don't know who nominated me, but yeah. um, I was featured on SD Voyager, and then they... Um, you know, just did an article on like what I do and how I started. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, let's uh, let's go back to I guess your 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 slogans. Okay. Right? <laughs> Since this one is your most popular one, my bread um, and butter. <laughs> can you uh, give us a little background on how you created the slogan? Yeah. Okay. Um. So I have a friend. Yeah. And she. Um, you know, has like a little bit of a hard time with her love life and oh. sometimes she just doesn't value herself as much as she should and mm -hmm. doesn't realize that she deserves more than she's she's receiving at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like, ugh, I mean, not tired, but like I just felt frustrated for her because mm -hmm. it's just like, dude, like you deserve so much better. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you don't? You know, so like finally, I think I was so frustrated one day. I was like, I'm at the pendeja. Yeah. And she just looked at me yeah. and I was like, Damn, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's going to aprend el poquito. And I was like, ching. Yeah. And so um, I, you know, told Felipe and I was like, well, what do you think about this? And he's like, yeah, that's cool. You know, he'll say yes to anything. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. No, but it's a dope slogan. <laughs> yeah, it makes everybody that walks by laugh. Yeah. So it makes me happy. Because yeah. I mean, it, I, like, honestly, it is just a little bit of tough love, yeah. you know, because I... I keep like I cop and everybody up in there, but like yeah. I was like, cause you know, it just like I said, it just sucks because you really have to like know your worth and value yourself. Yeah. And sometimes it it's just it takes so much. Now, how would you translate it to people who don't know Spanish? 
love yourself stupid. <laughs> That's all it is. It is that simple. Yeah. Love yourself, stupid. Yeah, and that's self love. Yeah. Exactly, and that's awesome. That it's just overall, it's just teaching you to just. It's just a a statement to just love yourself. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, whenever you feel down or depressed, how we were just Ponte talking about. Ponte tu camisa and you're good to go. And you're good. Yeah. No doubt. No, that's what it's I'm true. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, what have been your challenges overall in Lebex? Um, challenges. I mean, I guess like sometimes coming up with ideas, Okay. you know, cause everybody's like, I had one time one guy came over and he's yeah. like, you come up with this? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, well that's easy. And I'm like, what? then, yeah, I was yeah. like, well then you come up with something <laughs> exactly, right now, go, exactly, yeah. you know? So he stood there and he was thinking cause he really thought he could do it. Yeah. And I'm like, Andale, pues. and so he's thinking and thinking, he's like, this is really hard. Yeah, and I yeah. said, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like super tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You figure it out. Like I literally like. I'll sometimes I'll be like, okay, I need to come up with new stuff, yeah. ideas, ideas. And I'll sit there and then, you know, like I'll go through Pinterest to see if anything inspires me. Yeah. And then Felipe will say something, le grito, and I'm yeah. like, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, that's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. That's, that's one on a bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he actually helped me come, come up with a few porque we have a sticker that says, being a chismosa saved my life. There you go. That he came up with. That's what I'm talking about. That's crazy. a good one. That's yeah, a good one. it was a good one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely that. And then, um, how about, let's say protecting your slogan. Well, I was just going to say, yeah, yeah, like I, um, had an incident where somebody, um, remade the shirt mm. and that, you know, exactly the same. It wasn't exactly the same. The font was different, Okay. but it was the same. Still, slogan. I'm the yeah, yeah. And the, the font was similar. It wasn't exactly the same, but it was similar. Wow. It had the heart and everything. It had the heart. Yes. Wow. And I think the audacity, you know, to just steal it. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, dude, like, I mean, I was really upset. Yeah. Well, first of all, I was like, never in a million years did I think it would happen to me. Yeah. Cause I'm, I feel like I'm nobody. Okay. You know, and I can pasar it like nine to Africa. Okay. And second of all, like my shirts are so like they're twenty dollars, so I didn't think anybody would like have somebody else make it because yes. I figure it's kind of the same price to make it. Yeah. So I'm just like I don't understand. Like, why would you go somewhere when you could support a small business that's local and just do it that way? Makes sense. And so, um, I was checking my hashtags one day okay. just to see, and it, it like this lady popped up with my shirt and I'm like, I don't have this on a V-neck. Like yeah. why yeah. was happening? You know? So wow. I, I messaged her and I was like, Hey, you know, um, where'd you get, it? where'd you yeah. get it? Yeah. You know, what's going on? It's my shirt. It's my slogan. Like that's, you know, it's a little disrespectful. Of course. And I tried to be like super chill and nice about it. I wasn't trying to be confrontational. I was like, we're grown adults. You have a business. Yes. I have a business. And the way you expect your photography business to be, um, Respected is the same way I expect you to respect my business. Of course. You know, and she apologized or whatever, and she didn't take the picture down, but she just apologized. Wow. And I was like, all right, fine. And so then I contacted the person that made the shirt, and she was like, well, you need to watch out because other people are making your shirt too. Wow. And I said, what do you, wow. what do you mean? Yeah. yeah. She's like, yeah, other people are making your shirt. And I was like, okay, well, could you please not? Mm -hmm. You know? And it was, with her, it was a little more like, than anything yeah. and i'm just like i'm just trying to make something and grow something and exactly. you have your own yeah it. like these two people have their own businesses and their small businesses yeah. like how would you feel if somebody took something from you exactly you know and i'm just like i just want you to respect my art like yeah. that's it it's it's mine so now i feel really bad because I worry when somebody takes a picture, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. it's just like, what are you going to do with yeah. it? And then overall, I mean, even when they buy it and they take it home and it's just like, yeah, it's just tough. Yeah. Overall. And I think the only reason I, she didn't buy it for me was because it wasn't a V-neck. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's it. And I, I only have crew necks. So I just felt bad, but yeah. I was like, I'm sorry. Like, this. well, let's at least say here, let's, yeah. let's say it that I'm a dependeja is originally from the best. It's me. Yeah. Please, please be nice. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, yeah. I hope that it doesn't happen to you anymore. Me cause too. That's, that's yeah, because it, it's, like I said, it just really like, it sucked and not in a million years did I think it would happen to me. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's overall a challenge that yeah. could come with businesses. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I always go on Instagram and I always see people like, you know, hey, so-and-so took my artwork. Like, I asked them respectfully not to do that, mm. but... Or they'll just like t like take their art and post it as their own. Yeah. And I'm just like, who does that? Like mm -hmm. people work really hard. Like I just started doing Procreate. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It takes like a half a day to do one thing, yeah. like to start one thing, not even to finish it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, my stuff isn't even that intricate. It's like super simple, but other people that like have really intricate work. So Procreate is a software for... Oh yeah, to draw. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. it's, a, it's a, on iPads and okay. you can draw. Okay. Um, and it just makes it easier. And, and you just draw helpful. your design right there and yeah. you just print it out. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. But people take it. People can take that design. Yeah, that oh, you wow. make. Yeah, and then they'll just put it as their own. That's that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, no. So we see all this amazing thing. Mm -hmm. right? You got the shirts, you got the totes, you got the koozies. Yes. Do you plan on adding on to your inventory? Yeah, yeah. I do actually. Um, we have a... Uh, I want to make sweaters okay. come fall. Um, we have hats every now and then. Like hoodies? Um maybe hoodies okay, okay. yeah because i like <laughs> how cozy hoodies so are okay, like we're okay. sweatshirts yeah. yeah um and then uh, oh you, you mentioned hats yeah oh. hats we like made a vaga hat uh me vale madre hat yeah. and then i've got a few more that i've started but have not finished yeah. so sorry were those were those popular um the hats? you know when i posted them the first time they weren't yeah. but then afterwards they were they caught on yeah like, and i was like okay yeah. But it was only the Me Vale Madre one, and I was like, okay. Yeah, and that yeah. one really took off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I did, okay, okay. and I was like, man, and I make those, too. like, I try to make everything. Okay. So I, like, stitch those myself. Wow, mm -hmm. that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then um, we have a candle. We do it for holidays, mostly. And, wow, yeah. and you make the candle yourself? No, that's Oh, too okay. Much <laughs> <laughs> I might yeah. have to, because I can't find what I'm looking for, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's probably going to have to be another project. Okay. Um, but with the vinyl, we put... Um, Dame la paciencia to deal with pendejos today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're trying, we, yeah. I really might have to make them because we have to find small ones. Yeah. So people can put them on their desk because at work, yeah. Jesus knows you need yeah. that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right? Exactly, yeah. So uh, how do you determine what's popular? And also, have you ever been surprised to um, have something be popular you were like you know what i didn't think this was gonna this was gonna be hot yeah okay yeah it happens a lot yeah. actually i yeah. didn't think it would yeah like sometimes like i've made a couple of stickers where i'm just like bam yeah. you're gonna be like wow. fire wow. and then they're just sitting there and i'm like oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> these were not fire yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but like sometimes it, it Again, it's Felipe says it like, yeah. you know, sometimes it just depends who's shopping okay. and what they're looking for. Um, because there's times where one thing won't sell, mm -hmm. but something like one weekend, all my capella totes sold out. Wow. And I was like, and I made like five or seven that day. Yeah. And I was like, dang, yeah. you know, but the shirts weren't even touched. Nobody took a shirt. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. then sometimes the dog bandanas, everybody wants one. Yeah. Yeah. And they're pretty cool. So. Thank you. <laughs> it's a hit or miss. Yeah. But it's like, it's just a learning curve. You know, every time yeah. you take something out, you're just like, hopefully somebody loves it as much as I do. Yeah. But overall, I'm going to put the hat. That's, that's my number one. That's yeah. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Catches people's eye and brings them over. I'm like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So where can people physically find your stuff? Um, so you can physically find my stuff at um, Walk the Block on Saturdays. Um, in Barrio Logan. Okay. Um, they're from like 12 to 5 or 6 sometimes. And then I'm um, actually just starting to be a part of a collective in National City. National um, City. It's, yeah. It's um, Que Viva La Vida Shop. Okay. And there's going to be stuff exclusively for that store. And it's all like plant-based. Wow. So todo es, es de plantitas. Yeah. Uh -huh. And where's that at? Um, it's, I don't know the exact address. It's in yeah. National City. Um, okay. It's across the street from um, Napoleon's Pizza. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. And it's uh, um, by the beauty. It's on top of the beauty, uh, the beauty lounge. Okay. How did you get, how did you uh, hook up with them? Um. So, uh, Kevin La Vida shop. I've vended with her before. Okay. And then um, Las Greñudas, Stephanie and Esther. Las Greñudas too. And so, um, you know, we're just friends. And fortunately, that thought I would be a good part for um. For the collective and they asked me if i wanted to be in it and i said yeah that sounds yeah about. that was a great opportunity and i'm from national city so i mean i can't have my shop yet but it would be great to like have something in national of course, city. of course yeah okay and uh can you let's go back to how you were just talking about uh barrio logan mm -hmm. can you be more specific on where they could find you oh walk the block i am across the street from um por vida okay so it'll be por vida cross to get your coffee or cafe cruza la calle Cuidado. There you go. Y luego ahí estoy yo. Okay, cool, <laughs> and I'm cool. by myself, so you can look at everything I have and take your time. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, online, where can people find you? Um, I'm on Etsy. 
Okay. Um, and then... What's your um, Etsy? Shop the Bex. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I was like, mm. <laughs> uh, On Etsy, if you find me on Instagram, you can DM me. And if you see anything you like, let me know and I can ship anywhere. Okay. And then um, my best friend, Quinn, is actually working on a website. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's so hopefully well. soon yeah. we'll have a website. And is she local? Um, no, she will. She used to. She's from New Jersey originally. Okay. And then I met her when she was living here in San Diego. Yeah. But now she's in Pennsylvania. Wow. And she's and she's helping you out over yeah. there. That's yeah. Real cool. That's yeah. Yeah. I so know. So from coast to coast. You know it. <laughs> so in the end, mm -hmm. how far do you see yourself taking your brand? Um, as far as I can go. Okay. You know, like I um, I want to get pretty far. I want to be pretty well known, yeah. you know, and I like my ideal goal would be to like have just about every state have an Amate Pendeja wow, shirt, yeah, you know, because I have my little board and I pin like where my shirt's gone. Wow. Yeah. That's real cool. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty cool. Like there was a girl who came from Alaska mm -hmm. and she took one of my totes. Yeah. Wow. And she, did she tag you? Like, yo, I'm over here in Alaska. You know, or... no, she but didn't. she told you. She but told she you. told me, okay. so I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. And I was like, that's super cool. That's yeah. awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, do you ever, like, let's say, are you open to collabs? Like, someone says, yo, I want to, I want the, I'm a different deja, but I want to do it with my brand as well. Or, like, let's say, let's say for me, I mm -hmm. want to put a Planet SON. With the Amate Pendeja. Like, are you willing to do that with people? Yeah, I mean, yeah. the whatever helps me grow, you know, yeah. whatever helps get the word out there too, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And, um, because I kind of see it where you collab with, let's say, bigger brands. And obviously, you know the big fashion brands. You yeah. Know, so like you work with them, not specifically with Lebex, but overall, you know you know Nordstrom's, you know the, yeah. big, the big fashion stuff. Yeah. Um, do you ever, or would you want to... Put the bags into, like, let's say a Nordstrom, a Macy's. Yeah, a, but my only fear is like, was medio grosera todo lo que tengo. Just like, me van a dejar poner eso. Um, but well, I know I mean, it could be with any, with any brand. You yeah, know? yeah, I mean, like, I know Target is doing like um, for his, for like a Hispanic Month, they're doing yeah. like a couple of Latinos that are in um in their store. Not a couple, a few actually. Yeah. And then Nordstrom, there's um. You know what? I can see this in Target. Right? I'm not gonna lie. I thought yeah. the same thing. I thought exactly the same thing. Yeah. Like the Pelonera shirt for sure. Yeah. I was like, and this could be our target. Your main one. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about that. Come on. It's got a bad word on it. I mean, I think I think I could see it. I could totally see it at Target. Um, well, pues, si yeah. Yeah. You should try <laughs> I'll it. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, right? Imagine. Yeah. Oh my god. You should really look into it. Imagine. I'll be like, yeah. David, we did it. <laughs> 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 no, I'm you, I'm you. You should do it. You should yeah. do it. Yeah, well, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I, I like that you added the whole, you know, you pinpoint stuff. That's pretty dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's cool. Because, I mean, like, um, the first time I saw it, somebody posted in New York. Wow. Really? I, yes. Yeah, just I like was that. like, babe, we're in New yeah. York. Yeah. And he's like, what? Yeah. And I showed him the picture. I was like, yeah. snap. That and is then, dope. Um, so, was it an album that they have? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then another Amate Pendeja, um, there's a customer that came by and he actually like, his, like, not to brag, but yeah. I felt like it was nice. This because, humble brag. Humble yeah, brag, humble, yeah. humble brag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he met his boyfriend through Instagram, but he okay. was wearing my shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, you're the reason, you know, we got together. What? Yeah, it was so beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Say that again. What do you mean? I want you to elaborate on that. You met that. A dude so he was yeah watching. so he was walking by and yeah. he's like hey and I'm like hi and I had like a tie dye Amate Pendeja shirt okay and he was like you know like what does it mean and I told him and he's like oh that's so cool and he took the shirt and I was like yeah and so he posted it on Instagram and he does have really good hair yeah um but somebody like said hey great hair yeah and then that <laughs> ended up like later on I guess they ended up getting together and that's his boyfriend now look at you matchmaking with your clothing on that's and then, dope yeah and then yeah. he was like hey this possible and i was like oh my god that's you dope. know it's so that's beautiful dope. and then i actually got to meet his boyfriend yeah. i think last weekend and his parents wow and yeah and his boyfriend bought um a dramatica shirt wow and it was perfect because his hair is kind of like a teal color yeah and it matched the title on the shirt wow yeah that's that's cool yeah that's cool. it was really nice you know yeah. that's a good yeah. song yeah yeah and then i have like um family and friends that always come and support me like um 
my niece came by recently and she like bought a couple of things too and i was like oh my niece and then my friends were like um what did they say how did they say it um i don't i don't remember the exact words that they said but yeah. they were like she dropped your name yeah you know and she was like oh yeah that's my aunt and oh. i was like oh, <laughs> that's so beautiful yeah, that's what I'm talking about. you know so it's cute and then we had cousins come over and when family come family and friends come over like there was one day where like a lot of family and friends came by yeah. and it honestly it touched me so much because i was just like you know like sometimes you're just like pues aquí estoy con mi changarro. Yeah, like yeah. that's it but it's nice to know that it's not just like my immediate family that supports me yeah. it's like both his and my family that it's support me and my friends so even when my friends come over and buy something i'm just like dang guys mm -hmm. like that means so much that's what you I'm know about. yeah that's that's dope no it's always it's always a, a great feeling well, yeah it's, humbling, but it's yeah. always a great feeling when like first of all when your family supports you and then overall when you see strangers yeah. or yeah. like just encouraging you and also that you're um uh, you're part of their lives as yeah well. dude the love yeah. like it's so crazy because sometimes you don't you don't think you have it like the sente sola exactly. solo exactly. you know and you feel like well you're doing this pero pues quien te apoya quien esto mm -hmm. and especially when, when you're working it. yeah when you're actually let's say i can only imagine you when you're like actually putting the work in when you're designing the, the uh when the i stay up till five in the morning on friday finishing up the bandana exactly. sewing them i'm like this is why i do it yeah 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 no yeah, I, yeah. I completely understand it's the same thing with like me when i'm like editing or something oh and that's like, it takes oh, forever so <laughs> yeah you're like yeah. i don't want to do this no more yeah no you get the then, finished product and you're like <laughs> exactly no no and then it's because also my supporters they're like yo yeah. man i like your stuff because it's or, good yeah. yeah the videos are fun to watch so it's just like you know what like since we have supporters let's just continue yeah. to do it for them yeah right yeah That's what I'm talking about. so let's say there's a young miriam out there mm -hmm. right now right who's uh <laughs> hesitating or maybe even just scared to start her own thing you know but she really just wants to do it yeah do you have any encouraging words for younger girls wanting to create their own brand? Mm-hmm. Um, dang it, I saw it somewhere and I can't remember what it said. Yeah. Don't let fear stop you. You know, don't let fear stop you because you're always going to be scared. Yeah. You're always going to be scared and you're not going to know until you do it. And it's honestly just do it. Yeah. You know, just start like don't make excuses because i'm telling you i used to make all kinds like i had so many ideas i had a book yeah. of ideas and it was always like nothing like i don't have time mm -hmm. i'm too tired and it's just like it's sad to think that because i got laid off mm -hmm. i that's what forced me to start this yeah you know yeah. i honestly feel like had i not started i would have regretted it for the rest of my life yeah because I never would have known. And the what if kills you more than anything. Like, what if I would have started my own business? Yeah, you don't want to be 90 years old yeah. on your deathbed and or you, something. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, oh, que yeah. era pasado. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. At least now you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, at least you know the beginning. I mean, we don't, fortunately, you know, we'll see the process. Yeah. But then you're going to reach an end or the, the, the yeah. dream. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the goal, the actual yeah. goal of where you want to be. And uh, hey, at least you're starting it yeah you know, yeah so. so not to sound like maggie but just do it yeah exactly, exactly. yeah <laughs> just do it no doubt, no yeah, doubt. yeah. <laughs> so where can people find you on social media um so i am on instagram at shop yeah. i am on facebook at shop and i am on tiktok um my old name used to be lebex creations yeah, yeah, yeah. so my tiktok is under that so it's lebex creations 19 um make sure to follow because there's a couple of funny videos that i'm in <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm about. <laughs> and, yeah and you can see the process of how i make my shirts and my bandanas and my totes and stuff that's cool yeah that's cool. there's a lot of videos <laughs> a lot <laughs> now uh, do you have any shout outs um like i said to my followers there you go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, there you go there. definitely my followers yeah. because they're the reason like i'm here so yeah. thank you very much um my family that always supports me my friends because they're you know they got my back and it's yeah. it's good to know that i have that group of friends that like have my back and are you know willing to help out and because sometimes they'll like i'll tell them like oh, i'm so tired and they'll be like just call me i'll come over and help you mm. and i'm like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know because i'm just like well i don't want to bother anyone but they really will come over and help yeah, yeah yeah shout out to them shout out to them guys right? <laughs> yeah, right all right Marion. so thank you so much for joining me on dreams of jd 
I appreciate thank you. Thank you so much for having me. No I really problem. appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank so you. Much. Thank you so much. For it's being an here. honor. There you go. <laughs>